Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, November 27th, 2019 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi. Hello. And our energy mantra for today is, I resonate with the infinite essence of the universe. And today is my birthday. So, wonderful day for everybody. Take some blessings. Take some goodness. And we're actually really continuing on the kind of... I don't know, blessing pathway, we have Jupiter still hanging out at that galactic center. So that's important. We're just coming off this new moon Sagittarius where, you know, it really was about tuning into that infinite energy, recalling, remembering, bringing forth dreams, desires, hopes, like being willing to open Pandora's box of that energy um, and put it back into play in our life, put it back into... Uh, drive and creation in our life, feeling the fuel that that goodness brings. And then going hand in hand with these two energies, we have Neptune going direct today. So Neptune has been retrograde um, basically since the middle of June. So we've had several months of this pullback action. So unless you're like somewhere between 18 degrees and 15 degrees Pisces or 15 to 18 anything in the chart where it could have been resonating, chances are you weren't overly, overly uh, affected by this energy. Although I do find Neptune retrograde in Pisces does bring about a lot of past life stuff that wants to come up and be processed. I know personally, I definitely went through some deep processes during this time. But with Neptune moving direct, same as like every other planet going direct. It's like, what did you learn? So what have you learned um, about yourself spiritually, karmically, um, about your faith since June, since this process has gone on? And how do you move forward with encouraged faith, basically? How do you move forward trusting in the universe? How do you move forward Believing that you're not alone, you know, that you are supported, divinely supported on this journey. I also love, let's see if he can do it again. I asked Joe right before I was going to do this. I was like, hi, need an energy mantra. What do you feel about this energy? Now, he doesn't know what's going on. Joe, what did you say? Now is a good time to pay attention to the universe's wisdom because it'll probably give you some answers. Yes, and I don't know if anybody ever heard that, but it's like now is a good time to pay attention to the universe's wisdom because it's probably going to give you signs. Like, yes, there are signs out there. I think that's one of the things with Neptune retrograde. Sometimes it feels like those signs kind of go a little bit underground. Maybe they're not as clear. <laughs> I feel like I find myself asking for signs over and over and over, and finally we'll get one and be like... Ah, I was waiting for that. Um, but tune in with this direct motion and tune into what you've learned. And again, Neptune reminds us of our faith in the universe. And it's like, go ahead, reach for these things. Do the thing. <laughs> Be innocent and go for it. Trust in the experience, you know? I also love that... We don't really have too much going on today, but we're building into a, one more connection between Mercury and Neptune. So Mercury, in its retrograde, has passed over Neptune several times. So early tomorrow, um, they're going to make another trine. So you may get some, like, I don't know, completion, finishing up, signs, any of those kinds of things in your dreams. So be very, uh, pay very close attention to your dreams and the messages. Um, the only thing that we have going on besides Neptune Direct is Moon in Sagittarius creating a square with Neptune. What I would say with that, it's actually before Neptune's Direct, is this is one last kind of check-in. Moon in Sagittarius. Right now what I'm feeling with that in this square with Neptune is like the dark side of our beliefs. Actually, it's funny because I have, I got these little things from Danielle Laporte this week. Woo! falling. Um, your soul is rooting for you. And the other one is believe it to see it. And you really got to know how much belief plays a part in our life process, positive or negative. Ah, <laughs> I got a slide. Um, positive or negative. Check in with your beliefs. Are your beliefs supporting your expansion or are your beliefs supporting contraction with yourself? Are your beliefs supporting your dreams or are your beliefs supporting what 
Society has told you that kind of shuts you down. This is not a time of being shut down. Like the cards are so good. It's like be all in body, mind, spirit, soul, heart. Yeah, you're going to have to go through some experiences. Some of them are going to be great and others are going to kind of suck. And it's going to be okay if you take it moment by moment. Trust in the adventure and trust how your soul is pulling you forward. So I think that's good for today. I will do my best to be back for Thanksgiving energy, but just looking ahead overall, it's pretty good. And Moon will be moving into Capricorn, so those who are, you know cooking will be able to get everything done um so for now you can book a reading with me email me mimi clark at gmail.com it may take a few days to get back to you but i do promise i will i have holiday gift certificates available if you would like to purchase a reading for somebody um holiday gift certificates are discounted five dollars so you can get a half hour reading for 50. um i have my eclipse readings for sale right now those are 44 uh, 2020 year ahead readings for sale right now as well. Email me about any of that. Besides that, moment by moment. You have the power. <laughs> There's more than enough love in the world for you. What's the other thing? And the better it gets, the better it gets. <laughs> Namaste.